Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. Uh, I've been playing around in Rebel 4, but today I have been messing around with the palette knives. This is what I came up with. I had a lot of fun uh, just splashing that paint around with those knives. So let's just get straight into the vid and see how I got on. Right, here we are in Rebel 4. I'm going to paint this wet scene. This is a, um, a place Special K and I went to before the lockdown. It absolutely teamed it down. And it's a nature reserve. You see lots of birds there and there's a lake you can walk around. I think it's called the Attenborough Game Reserve uh, in near Long Eaton in Nottinghamshire. I'm not too sure if I got the name right. Um, but anyway it rained and it rained and it rained and i thought that would be a nice subject to use i'll just shrink this down again to play with the palette knives so um i think color wise i'm going to try and do a muted palette but we've got two knives here one uh, which is called knife two if you if i zoom in you can see we get quite thick paint i can Whack the oil, oiliness up of it and take the oiliness down and get it much drier, which I quite like that. You get this sort of scumbly effect. The other brush, the other knife, knife one, is a bit, a little bit soft. Looks more like an airbrush almost. So I, I don't know if I'm going to use that so much. And also, I want to make use of the canvas. I'm going to keep that, try and have some uh, canvas showing in the painting. So I'm going to begin with a knife too. And oh, let's make it a bit oilier just to start with. So like I say, I want the canvas at the top. Sweep in some sky. I love the fact that you can get really, really big brushes uh, in um, Rebel, much more so than in other apps that I've tried. So uh, that's that's nice. And we've got these modes here, look, and we've got a, a sort of um, paint mode. I don't know if they're called modes. I'm calling them that. And then the fourth one along, we've got blend, which I've played around with. I really like that because you can sort of blend these colors together and, and get this sort of effect of, of the rain just blurring your vision. Love that, love that, and I can blend that up that in the path there. Um, let's get this building in. Now, I did say that, I, I didn't say actually, but I'm going to, that the palette knife doesn't give, I've just create a new layer for a second. If I want to draw, so this roof line, you or these windows, you can't get nice sharp edges. It's a bit hit and miss. Which surprised me. I thought a palette knife, I'd be able to get um, a sharp corner. So I'm going to use the flat wet brush. Uh, for, for mind you, that's not much better to be honest. Oh, there we go. Uh, possibly for that and I've picked that one because oh, I can just delete that layer can't I? that's why I did a layer um, because it's got these nice brush strokes which um, with this being a thick painting I felt would be uh, quite appropriate 
Right, let's um, think about. I don't want to go too dark straight away. Uh, the horizon line is going to be about there. That. So, buildings wise. I don't want huge buildings. Big path. That's the path. So I guess that's the entrance way. I'm going to paint over all of this. Sort of roughing it in. There, that's the sort of building there. Got this bush, which I can paint in down there. Uh, uh, one, two. That's cool. We've got this building that comes like this. So like I could say I'm using um, a paintbrush at this stage. I found that the palette knives didn't give me the level of um, accuracy I needed just for this bit and then it's back in with the uh, better. about like that I think I think that's cool. I've got this little bit of an outbuilding there. So, having said that, let's, uh, let's paint this in now. So, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to mix the colours up a bit. This is probably the only little bit where I'm going to um, be doorway, isn't it? Be long, be dark. The only bit where I'm going to put any real colour, I think. This is this is cool because I it, I'm able to get these nice shapes. Which I just couldn't get. I could use. I was thinking of trying a different brush, thick wet maybe. No, no, no. That's the one. I want that texture. There like that. Yeah, cool. That looks all right. It's not too bad. I want some darker put in it, I think. And I will be um, using that blending tool to soften it off and look like it's. Um, Whoops. Look like it's all blurred out with the rain. Well, that will come later. Just feeling it looks a little bit blocky at the minute. Keep missing the keys.
Right, let's get to, back to the palette knife. And I'm thinking, you know, I said I was only going to put like color in here. No, I'm not. I didn't mean that. I meant I'm going to put lots of color in here as well. Maybe I should be taking the low, the oiliness down a bit uh, just to get a bit more texture on there. They're reeds, aren't they? Actually, so we can definitely do something with that. The oil, if you put oil in a soap, you get way more um, of a blend. See, I want to soften that, the edges of that building. All of this. Now we're beginning to get somewhere. What's the blurriness of the whole thing? The rain pounding down, softening edges. You're just not going to have hard edges there, are you? They should be that should be bluer. I kind of like the dark bit in it as well, though. So look at the oiliness. I've got that set to seventy two percent. The blending tool on. So rain. Notice when you uh, sample a color, this mode goes back to paint. Which I quite like that. I need more paint. Smaller.
I think the secret here is is to have gaps in don't have these all the same height all the way across I was falling into that trap then like this path needs to be a bit warmer now I don't think I need to tell you, but the uh, person, the lady in the photo, of course, is Special K. I'm going to miss the, the trees out in the background. I, I I don't think we need them. I need to put special K in the picture though. I think I'll do that with the brush, the flat wet brush. Uh, so she's kind of here. No, she's not. All there like that, I guess. Probably keep it in silhouette. Got a huge head on her there. That's better. Palette knife. Leave those reflections in, don't we? Sort of come into there like that. Big long reflection. just can't help thinking that I'd have been better 
paint taking uh, up a little bit and putting a red start in it there and uh, I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try it finish probably finish in the same place so um, I would paint her head let's swap back to this flat wet take that color paint her head sort of there like that and then the shoulders come out like this Let's just, um, <coughs> pardon me. It's a shame that was because I was really, really pleased with that figure and I could have moved it, I suppose. Could have just moved it. Um, the oiliness down, loading up better. I, lo I love that effect, right? That's better. So he's tied, I've tied the person into the building, into that scene. So, and then all I need to do now is think about these edges. Um, not quite so let's move it up a bit so what I mean about not going to have to get a nice edge sharp edge here that path goes out a bit more there doesn't it let's, let's do that because I quite like that Sort of goes off like that a bit, doesn't it? And then I can um, then we've got the puddle. Not quite as dark as the shadow. Just wanted to get some of the highlight highlights back in as uh looking a bit sludgy I felt.
I just think uh, if I put in a, a bit of dark here, maybe even darker, just lead you in, into the paint in a bit. Post in there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Do I need this fence? Maybe just an indication. The railing. Same this side. Like that. I think that's it. I think I've finished my palette knife painting. So what did I think to the knives? I didn't really try the first one. It was just too soft for me. Probably. No, too soft for me. The second one I loved. I loved the fact that you could get really uh, thick texture and by adjusting the loading, you got this sort of difference between a blending and a scumble where the paint goes on thick. Love that. You couldn't really paint sharp lines with it though. Uh, so I did have to incorporate a brush. I could have used the eraser with it. And uh, just sort of like lifting paint out with the, uh, imagine using an uh, um, a bit of rag with a palette knife to uh, lift color out. I guess I could have done that like that. Um, I don't want to though. I could have done that. So there we go. I like the fact that I've left canvas showing here and there. So uh, just got to paint, uh, just got to sign it. <clears throat> Maybe I might be better off going with um, just one of these wet, these thin paint ones and a filbert, just a regular filbert, small brush. Let's do it with the orange color. Yeah. So all in all, uh, excellent. I loved it. When I first started these reds and things, I was thinking, oh, I'm not so sure. Is this going to work? Um, but yeah, it came together. I like the blending you can do with it. Uh, yeah, really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. And don't forget, everybody, stay safe, stay sane and keep painting. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.